Okay, here we are ready to do one of the chairs, one of the cinema chairs. So the tools that we'll use to do this will be the triangle brush, so we'll have the triangle head with us. A cloth that goes onto the triangle head, I'll show you how to put that on in a moment. Uh, normally a lance, we're doing detail cleaning, often the lance and the small little brush for doing around the cup holders or maybe any little spots or crevices that we're wanting to get into. So that's me. And obviously the steam hose. So now let's show you putting on the cloth. So you just want a cotton cloth, a quite absorbent cotton cloth. No synthetics, so just a good cotton cloth onto it. Put the clamp on, put the head over there, put, lift up the clamp and clamp it in. What about the size of a face washer? That's the size. So clip in the back of the clamp so it's nice and tight at the back. So that's what it should look like. Just having it there. Now we can go across, we put it on, there's a little notch on here, we clip it into the top, put it into position, and then lock it into position. We turn the steam on to low, and now we start the actual cleaning process. We'll start at the top and work our way down on the chair, and we'll just be moving, going across the actual chair as we go across here. So we're always going to be moving, there's an arrow head on here, so we always move in the same direction as the arrow is going. So just strokes going forward, backwards in the same direction as the arrow. So if we're doing a chair, the actual chair seat, so we're going in the same direction as the arrow head going across. The arms will be the same, and then onto the side, swiveling head, but we'll move the same direction. If we try to clean this way, the swivel head will just roll over. So that's why we go in the same direction as the arrow head. Okay, let's start cleaning. So we'll turn it on to high, press the button here. So we're on to a low setting. If we have it too high, the cloth will get too wet. So just gently gliding it across the seat. Most of the time, just freshen up majority of the seat. Sometimes you might have a grease and oil down into one of the spots or where people put their hand. So that's where we'll go across the chair. So you can freshen them up quite quickly. Okay, so now we've got a stain. There's a bit of chocolate onto the seat here. We'll do a couple of different ways to go about cleaning that. First, we'll try the cloth onto it. Again, we're just on low. Most of the time, the chocolate will just get melted on low setting, but I'll show you a few different techniques. Okay, there it is, it's starting to, to go. Just rub backwards and forwards. Now what I'll do, I'll inject a bit more hot water. So when I'm talking about injecting a bit more hot water, I can press this button and inject. It'll make my cloth wet and of course flush and rinse out. Or if I want, I could also go down and inject a bit of steam and then I could press the hot water injection and just give it a bit of a, a wash or a rinse. Like so. So now, so if we need to, and if it's appropriate, we can go across and just do that and then absorb it up. Now let's have a look. I could also inject it through this head now. Just, we'll just make a little bit more moisture coming through. So there it is. The stain's now gone. The seat's on a bit of a moist side there, so you just need to leave that sit and just dry for a little bit. Okay, so that's what's done. Now we'll go off and do the cup holders and other little bits and pieces. So normally we'll just take it off, put on this head here, and now we can detail clean. So this is, gets into the small little places. So it gets rid of all the sticky marks and stuff. You can also inject the hot water. White button. Okay. And then we can get the cloth, 
and just wipe that over and you're done easy okay hope that's given you a good idea of how to go about cleaning the stains the spots on the chairs